Hello, we are your friends from the Office of Early Childhood at the Mississippi Department of Education. I'm Oki, and I like to teach through song and play. I'm Candace. I like to pop in and help make activities easier. I'm Marissa, and I like to make learning fun. And this is the Mockingbird. He's going to come and tweet us through every lesson, and he's our state bird. And I'm Lemuel, and I love creating cool things with lots of fun stuff. Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are near and far away. We will learn through meaningful play about our theme and question of the day. Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are here and far away. Let's get ready to have some fun. Yeah. Hello and welcome friends. I'm Oki, Okie Doki, who likes the hokey pokey. Hey, I wonder what we're gonna talk about today. Let's go visit our friend, the Mockingbird. Hello, Mr. Mockingbird. Do you have a tweet for us today? Oh, he does. It says, how do families help each other? Let's say it again. How do families help each other? Well, hey, let's go over to our vocabulary to see how families help each other. Well, our first vocabulary word is work, and that is a job. And usually your parents have jobs that they work in. They can be a teacher, a doctor, a nurse, all different types of jobs. And the next is chore. And that is something that is done very often. And I bet you guys have chores at home, if it's washing dishes and cleaning your room. And care, hmm, that is to protect you. And tidy means to keep things nice and neat. Families have different roles. And the role of a parent is to love and protect you just like a superhero. Dun, dun, da, da. And you know what? Children were to do chores and were to keep our room neat and tidy. And so you have to put your toys away. And then grandparents, they're that strong extra support to parents. Don't you like going over grandparents' house and having a sleepover and have your grandparents to take you to school? That's that extra strong support. Hey, I wonder what we're going to do for art today. Let's call our friend Lemuel to help us with an art activity. Oh, Lemuel! Hey, friend. Hi, hey, friend. Hey, friends. How y'all doing? Good. What are we going to do today? Well, I thought we would do a art project make a collage, but it would be a card, and we could give it to somebody, because sometimes we need to help someone to say thank you, or brighten their day, or it could be a birthday, any, any occasion. Yes, and families help each other out all the time, and to show our appreciation, we can make a card for our family member. So I brought my portfolio, which I keep all my artwork in, and I made some cards to show you. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. I this love this. This is a the small color. one. Small. And a medium one. Medium. And my favorite, this large one. Look how fun oh, it is. Oh, wow, that is large. And you know what? They're all in the shape of a square, and they have four sides. Let's count. One, two, three, four. And this one you can turn this way. Oh, wow. This one you can turn this way or this way. Those cool cards. So the first step we need is some paper. And I like to have different sizes. I like to have a large size, a medium size, and a small. And I also always keep a bag to put my scraps in so that I, sometimes I might need just a little piece of. What and are scraps? Scraps are just um, extra that you didn't use when you're making oh, something. So okay. It's always good to have those, and I don't like to waste a lot of things, so I will keep those kind of 
over the side. Oh, fine. So we have some new tools today, and I like to keep them in a little basket so I can carry them or put them away so they're easy to get to. Because if you can't get to them, you sometimes don't want to, I don't want to mess with it. So I always keep it like this so I, I can get to it real easy. All right, so we're going to, first step, we're going to fold. Do you want to make a medium card or a large card? A large card. Okay. Here's mine. All right, I'm going, we're going to practice together. Okay. So we're going to fold our, car, our paper over. So just take it. I'm folding it to the right. Yeah. Or you can fold it to the right. And you're going to make sure it um, is together. Okay. And you're going to press the sides. Press hard. Okay. Make a crease. Got it. Ta -da. Ta -da. So you can decide if you want your card to be landscape and open like this. Mm -hmm. Or if you want it to be vertical, oh, tall, think, and open. So you get to decide. I think I want it to be vertical, tall. Okay, great. So we have some new tools here. And the first tool we're going to use is a pair of scissors. scissors. And I want to talk about the scissors. You see how it has two openings? Yes. Yeah. So, depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed. Okay. So, you want to, two fingers will go in here, mm -hmm. and one will go in here. So, two and one. Okay. See? Can I try? Yes. Okay. Two fingers and one finger. And remember when you're counting, one, two. So, two is next, so it's second. So, one on top, and then two. Okay. One, two. And then when you hand them to me, you want to go like this. Okay. Pick them up. One, two. And we're going to open, close. Open, close. So you're going to take your paper. And you can either draw first. But sometimes I like to just draw with my scissors and just kind of cut and imagine and, and draw. So I'm going to demonstrate. Okay. So I'm going to, let me think, I'm going to do a flower like I did here. So I'm going to draw a circle, because okay. that's the center of the piece. Open, close, open, close. See how I'm turning my paper? Yes. And I'm keeping these fingers over here, because the scissors will bite them. Wow, they will. Open, close, open, close, open, close. See? Voila. Oh, and then you have your circle. Can I try? Okay, are you going to practice real careful? I will practice okay, real Okay, let's careful. see. So I'm going to lay them down where you can pick them up. And I want the color purple. Perfect. Okay. Right on top. So open, close, turn the paper around, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Open, close. I like how you're turning it. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Watch your fingers. Open, close. Voila. Did I do it right? Perfect. But you know, I had a little trouble using those scissors. I wonder who could help us. I know. Oh, Candace. Candace. Hi, hey, friends. friends. How are you? I heard you had a little trouble with the scissors. I did. Can you show me another way? Of course I can. Okay. I have a different kind of scissor. Cool. Check these out. Wow. These are called snip loop scissors. Snip loop scissors. They don't have the two holes like Lemuel scissors have. Wow. They have one big section that's a loop at the bottom. Wow. Isn't that neat? That is that's neat. Cool. All you have to do for these scissors is hold them. Just grab hold, and you squeeze to make them open and close. Here, oh, try. Yeah. All right. I'm going to squeeze to close, mm -hmm. release o to open. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Open, but you got to squeeze first. Close. Squeeze, squeeze to close, then let go to open. Okay. Oh, I didn't make a circle. What did I make? You, oh my gosh, this could be a petal oh, on the yes, flowers. Wow. Cut some more, cut some more. Close, open, close, open, open 
Close, open, close, open, close. Close. <gasps> Look wow. at that. Cut some more. Would you like to try, Oki? Yes. Let me try. Pardon me, Lemuel. First, I have to hold the scissors like this. Squeeze to close. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. <gasps> wow. Thank nice. you. Thank you, Candace, for yes. showing us how to use these special scissors. You're welcome. Can I hope I keep you have them? please do, and I hope you have fun making your cards. Thank you. See you later. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. <gasps> Let's make a card to give somebody. I think so. Okay, so after we cut our pieces out, mm -hmm. we want to. The next step would be to glue them down. Okay. Okay, because you don't want it to fall off. Right. Okay. And glue is kind of sticky. Doesn't it hold things together? It is. And so I have a sponge. I'd love to keep a sponge so I can wipe my fingers off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to, now this is a new art tool. It's a glue stick. And I'm going to show you how to use the glue stick. Okay. Take the lid off. Stay. <laughs> I always say that because you don't want it to fall and run away. Why? All right, so we're going to go one turn, two turns, that's all. You want to do it? One turn, two turns. That's, that's all. all. That's <laughs> all you need. Okay, and I always stand my glue stick up like this. Okay. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put some glue around the edges. Around the edges? Whoops. And I'm going to put some glue in the middle. Okay. Stay. Stay. And then I'm going to press it. And I'm going to go left to right. Left, left to, to right. right. Top to bottom. Wow. Top to bottom. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. It doesn't fall off. It doesn't fall off. So you would do that and glue all your pieces down and you would have a card in it doesn't fall off. Wow, a beautiful, beautiful card. It's time to say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mr. Bye -bye. Stick. Bye-bye, and wipe. And then you put the lid on, snap. snap. <gasps> did you hear that? I did. My hands are a little sticky. I'm going to wipe my hands off. Okay. Voila, not Voila. sticky. Do you want to pick one to give to a special friend? I do. I love the color yellow and blue, and I think oh. yellow and blue is her favorite color. Oh, I think I know who you're going to give it to. You do, but you can't tell I'm her. not going to tell. Okay. So, look, when I put everything away, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put my scraps in the bag so that I can use them for something else later. Okay. Putting so you're everything gonna up. Hmm. Don't want to waste anything. Right. And I'm going to put my other stuff in my portfolio so I can keep it for next. And guess what? What? We have a friend that made a special card. Look oh, at this. I <gasps> love that. And his name is Hans. It's wonderful. And he wrote a message on the inside. Voila. Let's see. I miss you. I hope we can see you soon. I'm learning math in kindergarten. Wow. wow. Thank you, Hans. Hey, thanks Hans and Lemuel for showing us this great, cool card collage. Let's Bye. give them a round of applause. Bye. Bye-bye. Wow, that was fun. Hey, I remember a story that I read, and it was called Night Shift Daddy. And in this story, it was about a little girl and her father. And her father did many things to help her out during the day. But at night, he tucked her in, and he would go to work. I know you have some family members that might work at night, and then you have family members that might work during the day. Hey, let's do a fun activity about night and day. We have night, and we have day. Hmm, so this is a sun. When do you think the sun shines? What did you say? You're right. It shines during the day. Hey, this is a schoolhouse. 
So when do you go to school? You're right, you go to school during the day. So what about this one? Yes, yeah, she's asleep. And you sleep at night, but you remember in the story Night Shift Daddy, he slept at night. So this can go under night and day. So we'll put it in the middle. What about this one? Riding your bike. Yes, you ride your bike during the day. And you have to stay safe. You see, he has on his helmet. And what about this? A campfire. You go camping and you do the campfire what? At night. That's correct. And one more. The moon. The moon shines at night. Did you like that activity? Well, hey, in the story, the daughter also helped the dad out when he came home. She fixed him breakfast, and she tucked him into bed. Hey, let's call our friend Candace to see how she helps a family member out. Oh, Candace. Hi, Oki. Hi, Candace. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We're just talking about how family members help each other. Yes. Can you tell us how you help your family member out? Well, it, you know, there are different ways to help different family members, but I have one in particular, my son, Toby. I help him go to school in the mornings. Wow. I have a video I can you show do. you. Can I we do. See it? Check it out. All right. Let's go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Wow, Candace, that was a great video of you helping your son Toby go to, go to school. Thanks. And I like the way you picked him up, and I know he probably hugs you, too. It's <laughs> always great to get a hug. Well, thank you, Candace. Sure. Let's give Candace a round of applause. Thanks, Oki. Hey, Candace, you took really good care of your son. Oh, Can, Is there another way you can say care? Well, there is. In Spanish, we can say, if we want to say care, we say cuidado. Cuidado. Yes, let's try it again. Cuidado. cuidado. Try it at home. Cuidado. Very good. Thank you. Also, you know, some people talk with their hands. Oh, yes. I do remember. It ta it's called sign language. Sign language. And so if you want to sign care, you're going to take your two hands like this, mm -hmm. like you're making some K's. And they go like this. Mm -hmm. And that means care. Like to take care of someone. Care. Try it at home. Care. Isn't that neat? Wow. Thank you, Candace. Hey, we're getting ready to talk about chores that we do at home. Oh. How do you say chore in Spanish? Well, if you want to say chore in Spanish, it is lata. Lata. Mm hmm Oh, lata. Very I good. Like it. We do a <laughs> lot of chores. <Yeah. laughs> That's so funny. Boys and girls, you try. Lata. lata. Very good. And if we want to do the sign for chore, mm -hmm. we do our hands like this and we move them around. Like we would be doing some chores at home. Chores. You might chores. be mopping, sweeping, vacuuming. Yes. Hey, my kids on Saturday. They help me fold laundry. Oh, that's a big chore. Yes. Can I show you? Please do. Okay. Well, we have our face towel. Can I show you how I help them fold? Sure. Okay. Well, you have four corners. Let's count the corners. One, One two, two, three, four. four. 
Well, you lay it down, you connect the corners together, and I always say, they take a kiss, Oh, and then the corners bow. That's can a great you, way to remember yeah. that. Can you do it for me? Yes, let me try. Okay, I've got my four corners. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lay it down. I took a kiss. Yes. And took a bow. Wow, thank you, Candice. You did a great job. Thanks. Well, can you help me sort the towels? Sort them. Yes, sort them by different Oh, so you want all the ones that are the same color together. Yes, so I'll give you a few. So let's sort them. So we're going to do the greens first. Okay. So, so I can put this green one with this green mm -hmm. one. So that's how many? One, two. Two, two green. Okay. And I'm going to sort the white ones. That's one, two. And let's sort the gold ones. Let's see how many gold ones we have. Those are pretty too. One, two, three. We have three gold ones. And that's all two, two greens, two whites, and three gold. Well, thank you for sure. helping me with that activity. Well, we're almost at the end of our lesson, so let's reflect on what we talked about today. Sure. How do families help each other? What's our theme for today? And remember our vocabulary words? Work, chore, care, tidy and work is to do a job chore is to do something often like help around the house care is to protect and take care of and tidy is to make nice and neat like Lemuel's tools yeah. he talked about making them tidy by keeping them together you're exactly right and also today with Lemuel we made a beautiful card. You did? And Candice, we want to give you this card because she was a great mother helping Toby. Aww. So thank you. This Aww. is for you. Thank you, friend. That makes me so happy. You're welcome. And remember we talked about care? We did. And how do you say care in Spanish? Care in Spanish is cuidado. Cuidado. And also, we talked about chores. How mm -hmm. do you say chore? Chore is lata. Lata. Mm -hmm. Let's say it again. Lata. lata. And you made a little funny joke earlier. You said we had what? We had a lata chores. Yeah, lata chores. I love that. And also, you help your son out. Can I you do. tell me how you help your son out? Well, every day I have to take him to school. So I put him in the van, mm -hmm. and I have to put his wheelchair in the back, and then I take him to school. Okay, but when you get to school, what do you do? Well, I have to take the wheelchair out of the back of the van, and then get Toby out and get him in his chair. Then he rolls on his way. Oh, right, I know he loves that. I know I would love my mom to take me to school. Well, guys, that's the end of our show, but I want you to go to your local library mm -hmm. and get the book Night Shift Daddy, and get other books about families and different jobs, okay? Have a good one. Farewell. Friends, we hope you had fun today. Please join us again for some more adventures next time. For more family enrichment activities, visit our website at mdek12.org slash ec. Farewell, farewell, friends today, friends that are here and far away. We have learned a lot through play about our theme and question of the day. Farewell, farewell, friends today, it's time to go till another day. Farewell.